Hi, welcome to Greekish Outdoors. Today I am back in my home country of England. I am in the city of York and we are going to go up and see Clifford's Tower, which is the castle of York. So stick around. So this is Clifford's Tower. It stands at approximately 50 feet in height with a diameter of 200 feet. To reach Clifford's Tower, you walk up the 55 very steep steps up to the keep itself. Clifford's Tower is a part of a series of other buildings and fortifications that make up the York Castle. Here in this image, you can see a reconstruction of York Castle in the 14th century with Clifford's Tower on its mound at the rear of the picture. As we walk into the entrance of Clifford's Tower, you can see some of the many changes that have happened following a five million pounds project aimed at conserving the 800 year old landmark. Let's go through a little bit of history of Clifford's Tower. York Castles, including Clifford's Tower, was originally built under instruction from William the Conqueror between 1068 and 69. The current stone Clifford's Tower does stand on one of those former sites. In 1069, the castles were burnt down by Danish or Viking invaders, which were actually supported by the people of York. But William the Conqueror rebuilt the castles and laid waste to parts of northern England as punishment. In 1190, there was a tragic event at Clifford's Tower. Unfortunately, the York Jewish community had to take refuge within the tower um, as protection from an angry mob within the city. They were unable to escape and unfortunately they committed mass suicide and the tower was then set on fire. Between 1245 and 1272, the present stone tower was built. However, in 1590, a demolition attempt was made. The tower's keeper began to try and dismantle and sell for profit the materials of the tower. Fortunately, the aldermen of York and the people of York did stop this. In 1644, the Royalists garrisoned the tower in defence of York during the English Civil War. In 1684, a explosion, possibly caused by sabotage, destroyed the interior of the tower itself and therefore ended the tower's military use at this time. In 1820, the castle was repurposed and used as a prison. From 1935 onwards, Clifford's Tower was restored and opened to the public. Right, let's head up to the roof. Around this metal, spare, this metal spiral staircase. From this side of the tower court you can see York and Selby Magistrates Court. Further along to the right you can see Fairfax House and right in front of York Minster which is right at the back over there you can see St Mary's Church which has the spire pointing straight up towards the sky. On this side of Clifford's Tower you can see the female prison debtors prison and the Assize Court which is now the Crown Court of York. As you can probably hear it's a quite a windy day. Um, quite nice to have these railings to hold on to when you're quite high up like we are. But beautiful 360 degree view of York. If you look in the far, far distance, you can just see the old building of Terry's Chocolate Factory, but that is where the world famous Terry's Chocolate Orange was originally made. 
The site is run by the English Heritage Trust. Here you can see their price listing. I should say that this is their online price listing if you book online via the website. If you do turn up without booking beforehand, the costs will be slightly higher. So that was Clifford's Tower, the castle in the center of York. I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tour I gave you. Uh, much love to you all. Take care. See you next time.